Hey boys and girls, I thought I would videotape the end of this, uh, I'm showing my age saying videotape, record the end of this game that we played. You can see we're in a pretty small circle already with a lot of people coming in, all right next to Castle here, and it's only going to kind of drill down into this part of the map here, right, uh, right across the road from us. So we're in a pretty good spot. It's going to be pretty hairy, and it's going to end on this very last uh, compound. So I'm on the roof, um, Pat is fishing around in a window there. He's got his level 3 helmet on, looking cool. I got level 3 gear. We're pretty decked. I've got an SLR with all the trimmings and a MP5 with all of my goodies on it. And I'm feeling pretty stacked about stuff. In a minute, you're going to see Pat pop a really nice uh, running headshot. Zoink. And I finish him while he's down. He calls out to me. We both watched the guy, and right as I was about to shoot my first shot, I can kind of show it to you here. It's funny. Right as I'm about to shoot my first shot, this is my er, this is my view. I was like, oh, there's a guy. Oh. So I just make mine into finishing bullets, and I was like, I see the gun flashes from that second guy. Patty primes a grenade, gives him a shot. And I finish those two guys on a run. And we are looting. That's the shape of the map. A lot of fighting going on in Castle. Crawfish Sensei, I see him in a lot of our games. He's gonna get down in there I don't know whether he's just a karate guy that likes to eat a lot of gumbo or he is maybe just has a whole classroom of little crawfish that he is trying to teach the way to I like both images though anyway uh, let's see so we got another car Logan Cole coming in I'm gonna climb back on my boxes I think Still, nobody really in the zone yet. We're all, like, just waiting to see who runs. Tricky. We're going to get into a fantastic fight down at the bottom of the sill, though, with uh, EQ Measurement, Lazy Death, and Logan Cole. And uh, I think Bear Bait and um, Dragon Fodder get involved in that as well. It's going to be interesting. I remember while it was going on, I just turned to Pat and was watching him. He was killing everybody, and I was just like, what is going on? We just decide to flop down and get on our side of the road and uh, see what's going on. Pat hears bullets, bombs, grenades flying, and calls out to me, he's like, I'm going! So I start trucking. that again from another angle because even though I was there to help Pat was basically caught up in the thick of it and it gets insane 
couple grenades out, a little fire on them, and then Dragon Fodder comes in and decides he's just gonna run over one of the guys right in front of him. I think that was the what in the hell is going on. I just had a what in the blue fuck moment. It's like people running each other over, shooting each other. We're like, how many people are physically here right now? This one's eating up. This guy just decides to become a human battering ram. Watch out, Gabe. Insane. Just insane. So, I'm regaining my composure on this rock. I told him, I said, I think I need to go over here and just lay down for a second. I know it's us plus three right now. So we start heading in that direction. I'm like, let's work around the edge. I'm like, oh, they're fighting. Let's cut it in and go straight away. Straight away. And Sam Mari killed both of those guys in the house, which is solid work. It's us and him. And I'm gonna light up his life here in a second. Pat getting aggressive. Sam is just sitting in the bathroom. Trying to figure out how he gonna live. It's like maybe I could live in this shower. I got water. He has to come out, and I'm in the cat bird seat. Here comes the zone, and I'm just looking for feet at this point. He hears him. Pat hears him and is kind of calling out to me. I see his feet. I give him a taste of the fire, and he has no place to go, so he's just eating his own and fire at the same time. And Bazinga. I love the end of the match by Molotov. Always a good time. You're a charcoal.